Okay. Good morning, students. How are you all? Are you all fine? Are you taking care of your health nicely? Be safe. Okay. That's good. Right, students. In the previous class, we have learned. We are learning about the farming activities of Palampur village. Right. So today we are going to learn about what are the non-farming activities which are taking place in Palampur village. Before we could go to that. We can see here one the sale of surplus farm products. Yesterday's class we have learned about how is the labor is produced, how is labor uh, who sustains uh, does the land sustains, who facilitates the labor, who provides the capital. So we are learning all that. Today we are going to learn about sale of surplus farm products. Generally in our homes also in the, some of the villages also we know that if a farmer is producing rice. If the production is surplus, what they will do? They try to consume for the family purpose something and some part of the production they will sell to the traders. Like that only in Palampur village, we can see here in Palampur village, we can see here wheat is majorly produced. It is a rainy crop, I mean rabbi crop. So here we can see wheat is produced, they will consume. After consuming, they will sell the surplus product. Means whatever the amount is required for their family, they will keep. Remaining thing they will sell to the they will sell to the traders. So like that only one farmer is there whose name is called as Tayyip Pal. You know what he will do? He will sell the surplus farm product. The remaining income what he is having, he will store for the next coming crop. He will reserve that for his capital investment or else what he tried to do being a big farmer he tried to give loans for the people who want like a small farmers like the Sanita estimate we have learned that and remaining amount he will preserve for the next coming crop and also if he is more amount is there he will try to buy another tractor as a, a working capital or a physical capital for his land understood that is our next one non-farming activities children tell me what are the non-farming activities that we see in our area we see shopkeepers are there grocery sellings are there okay dairy farming are there poultry farms are there okay all these together we will call as non-farming activities like that told me children in Palampur village also some non-farming activities are there what are those non-farming activities we will see here See, I told you in the previous class, 75% of the people are depending on agricultural activities. Yes or no? In the previous class, we learned that 75% of the people are completely depending on either laborers or producers or big farmers or small farmers. They are depending on agricultural activities. Here, 25% of the people are depending on non-farming activities. What are the non-farming activities? Let us see. Dairy farming. What do you see in the dairy farming? You can see milk production. Okay. How do the uh, buffaloes get the feed? So during some of the while they are producing the crops, people who are there in Palampur village they will produce jowar, bajra. When they produce jowar and bajra, the remaining chaff will be there, no? The waste straw will be there, no? That will be used as a fodder for the animals. What do you mean by fodder? Fodder means nothing but the food of animals. Okay, so people uh, survive, I mean they grow their animals with the help of the fodder which was left by Bajra and Jowar. And as a result, there will be a good production of milk. Production of milk is called as white revolution. Understood children? Next one. Small scale farming. So when we learn about dairy farming and all this, you have to understand one important factor that is when it is coming about dairy farming. Okay, what is the, here we learn about one person whose name is called as, uh, uh, here somebody we have told, whose name is called as, one person, he is introducing, he went to a loan, the government has given a loan, he purchased one buffalo, with the help of the buffalo, he started uh, taking milk, grain, that and this, and he using the buffalo as a cart puller. As a result, he's getting some income. He's earning the income in transport, carrying small logs of food, small goods, exporting, and making the family to survive. Those are some of the non-farming activities. 
Next, small scale manufacturing. Less than 55 people or 50 people. Less than 50 or 55 people depend on small scale industries. Means like weaving, pottery making, jewelry making, embroidering work, okay, stitching work. All these comes under small scale industries. Manufacturing small scale items, okay, articrafts, handicraft, all these comes under small scale manufacturing. Like that, one person is the missionary is called as Mishri Lal. Mishri Lal is a, a farmer who is producing the crops. So he wanted to, he is a good producer of sugar cane. So he wanted to introduce one small scale industry or a factory. For that, he need one sugar cane crushing machine. So he purchased one sugar cane crushing machine. Before that, that crushing, that crushing work is done by cart, buffalo cart pillars. But now he purchased one crushing machine. With the help of crushing machine, he is crushing the sugar cane, he is preparing the sugar, taking the jaggery, girl, and selling in the market and earning to small scale industry. Understood, children? Next one. Here we can see another important thing that is shopkeepers of Palampur village. Who are the shopkeepers? General stores, right? What do they sell? They sell sugar, uh, rice, wheat, tea. Sugar, biscuits, soaps, grocery items, notebooks, pens, what not, everything what we see in our surroundings, what all we wanted, they sell. Understood all of you. Along with this, there is one person whose name is called as Karim. You know what he will do? He is introducing, as he is living in a village area, he wanted to set up a computer center, coaching center. So, all the people who completed degree or intermediate in their Palambur village, he is giving computer coaching for them, computer training for them. In that way, he is earning his livelihood. That is also like shopkeeping, no? Understood all of you? That is good. Next one, transport facilities. What are the transport facilities which are there in Palambur village? Here we can see, generally tell me what are the transport facilities. Rickshaw pullers are there, car pullers are there, okay, trucks are there, cars are there. Tractors are there, vehicles are there, buses are there, lorries are there. Like that only, some of the transport facilities are there in Palampur village, which is one of the fastest growing sector in Palampur village. What is that? Reksha, Rekshawalas, Tongawalas. Rekshawalas means it will be uh, cycled by the uh, a person. But whereas Tongawalas means horse will be there, it will carry them. Next one, tractors are there to carry the production. Next one, truck drivers are there to serve. And next one, bulla carts. This is traditional one where they can transport their goods from one place to another place. Understood children? So here, these are some of the important facilities. So here, one person is there, Kishora. He is a small scale farmer, a very small farmer. He is finding difficult to cultivate his, uh, to support his family members. As a result, what happened? He went to a small uh, bank. He took loan, as they are giving loan, he took loan, he, buy, he purchased one buffalo. He is taking the milk of that buffalo and using this buffalo to put a cart. Transporting small scale industry, small scale production, small produce, production, what is produced in the farm. So in that way, Kishore is leading his life. So overall, we studied about the non farming activities. Children, your home task for today. Explain in detail about the non farming activities in farm in the village. Understood? So in this lesson, we completely studied about Farming and non farming activities of Palamu village. With this, we have successfully completed our lesson, the story of the Palamu village. Go through our lesson, go through the question and answers, prepare yourself for the PT1 examinations. Understood, children? Be safe, take care of your health. Understood? Thank you.